What is up Fisher fam? Welcome back to another episode everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today we are back on the pier. It's been a couple weeks. Uh, we went to South Florida and uh, we've been surf fishing lately because the bayou has been good for farm windows. But I've gotten some reports that there's a lot of big fish being caught and it is the first day of April which means fish like mackerels, redfish, pompanos, cobias, king mackerels starting to move in. So we're gonna be trying our luck today on the pier. Now, if you guys are coming out for the first time here and want to do something that's real fun, I'm gonna be showing you what to do. But we are gonna be fishing a few real lures, but this is exactly what we are going to be using on the pier today. Tends to catch a lot, a lot of fish. Last few years I've been using this little gotcha plug does happen to catch a lot of fish. So if you guys have time and enjoy the content, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and we're going to jump into the episode, show you how many fish we can catch with this gotcha, and then see if we can get on, all right? Let's get at it. Let's see. Let me see. There we go. Let me see. Go we'll get it. You guys want it? You guys want it? Do you want it? Really, or we got enough for you? <clears throat> I'm not. I got enough pompanos from yesterday. I'm good. We're just jigging right by the pier. There you go, buddy. So you get three more, and I'm gone. Not nah, kidding. <laughs> Now that we got a uh, first Spanish, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using today. I'm using the old Gotcha Lure Special. These uh, these jigs, these lures catch a ton of Spanish, and that's what we're after today. Maybe some redfish, maybe some cobias, if there's any. But all I'm using right now is a Gotcha 30 pound floral HMG rod and a Shimano Nazi 5000. All right, guys, so I want to apologize to you guys. Um, I've been trying to get better as far as quality. Um, here I was getting on another macro right here, as you guys are seeing. Um, it was just one of those great, great days of fishing. Um, I've never seen it like this good in quite a while. As you guys have seen right in front of me, um, it was on every cast. This was probably the second one in the, in the last five to ten minutes of just being there. I was out there with the crew with Dougie B. Fishing and Real Coastal. And as you guys have seen right now, I did get ripped off um, one of the gotchas. So I put another one out. This was a, actually a gold gold gotcha. And as you can see there is a pretty good size uh, macro. Um, once again, guys, I apologize to you guys. I bought a new mic because you guys have been telling me to um as far as the wind so i bought a new mic and it gave out but i'm just going to be doing the voiceover right now and uh put some music in some of the parts of the video so um it should be fixed in the next few weeks i did order another mic so hopefully it does not this one does not come broken but as you guys are seeing there i was ripping out uh the gotcha off his mouth i was not keeping any fish so all i was doing was throwing them back for fun um just to show you guys how great of a lure this lure was so I'm getting again prepared. I'm getting the line ready and uh, getting ready to cast another, as you've seen right there, um, it was on the ground. I was picking it up and um, I've never seen it this good. Here you're going to see my buddy, Dougie B. Fishing, bring another fish up while I'm casting. I mean, we were all just having a blast on this day. He's bringing it up. I think he lost it. Let's see if he brings it up. Hopefully he didn't lose it, but no. There he is, bringing it up. 
all we were doing is casting out, letting it drop, and it was just one of those great, great days of fishing that you can't make up unless you're there and to witness. There we are. And again, I'm going to cast out. Make sure if you're going out there to the pier, y'all, make sure you have a light rod um, just for the purpose of casting and casting and casting and casting over. So that's one tip I do have for y'all. Now on this catch, something I started to notice, if you guys are noticing the cast different here, I started to notice that the macros were actually closer to the g to the pier than the other ones I was catching. So um, once I saw this, what you guys see me doing right here, I was jigging the rod uh, very fast to get their attention. Um, if you guys are going to notice right there, again, I'm casting right in front of the pier, not even that far out. I'm letting it drop, counting to about four, and there it is, jigging, jigging, jigging. And making it look easy um, because when it's fishing like this good sometimes just noticing where the fish are at are gonna, definitely gonna help you catch the fish and uh, and here's where I hook on another one that's where I was trying to point to you guys and show you guys there's a big school of macros just running by close up here and there he is hooked on to another one and when fishing is this good it's hard to complain it's hard to leave um, we did this for about 30 minutes straight consistently, and that's another, another one coming in. There were not big, big ones, but they were pretty good size, about 13 to 14 inches. I think this one was around 13 to 14. Again, I was not keeping fish. I was just making a video. I'm showing you guys how good this Scotch Allure can be. I was de-hooking them. Now, make sure you guys have pliers. These macros always have some sharp teeth, and they will definitely cut you if you're not careful, as I'm showing you right there. Let's see if we get another one. Releasing them. See ya, buddy. All right, y'all. This is the probably the best part of the fishing that we had on this day. Um, this is where things started to heat up right here. Um, I was not even casting, guys. I was just letting it drop, honestly. It was on every cast. There you go. I'm letting it drop. And uh, you can see right now. And here we go. Jig, jig, jig. I was jigging, not even casting. I was just letting it drop in front of the pier. Um, again, sometimes they're going to be out farther. Sometimes they're going to be in closer. In, in this case, they're all right there in front of us. And they cast out again. Maybe sometimes they're going to be out farther. But I was getting a lot of the catches in close. So I decided to switch, go out farther, give it that jig. As you guys have seen the pop right there. I was given a fast retrieve because these fish were hungry. And sometimes um, when they're really hungry like that, the fast retrieve works and bam. Oh my gosh, these, they're so much fun. And we take these uh, macros, we don't appreciate them. But this, when the winter is here, but when the summer is here, you definitely do miss them. They make good macro dip if you guys have never had them. And they fight so fun as you guys are seeing right there. That was another good size one. Again, not huge ones, but very fun to catch. As far as those, you catch about three or four and you take them home and enjoy them with the family. And there we are again, the gotcha plug doing its job, 30 pound line, the plier, get you, get yourself a pliers if you guys don't have one guys. You hook him right quick, he definitely wanted to go back in the water. There it is, another macro, and uh, we'll cast that again. Checking my line, that's something you guys want to do after you get a macro hit, check your line, guys. Cast out there. And there you are, y'all. I mean, I've lost at this point count how many, I don't know if you guys noticed right there, I hooked one and someone came off, I hooked one and came off, and now, again, I was letting it drop to the bottom. Hooking it, jigging it, it's real slow and sometimes real fast depending on what to work. And boom. I think this was the eighth or the ninth one there. Um, and they were just fun. So much so much fun to catch these fish on light gear like I was telling you guys. I'm going to be leaving in the description all the gear, rods, and reels, and these gotchas if you guys want to check them out. Uh, that was actually one of the best macros I caught that day right there. 
about 15 again make sure, another thing i would recommend you guys if you see me the towel the reason why i'm using the towel in this video is because uh these macros skin comes off of your your hands a lot and by the time you're done fishing you're gonna have all these white marks like you're gonna see on the rod right there and they start marking it down so i like myself um staying staying a little bit clean because these macros will mess you up as far as blood and uh they tangle you up and here you are looking i don't know if you guys will see the rod right there i'm gonna show you guys no it doesn't show it but all that little white marks you see by my hand right there that's full of macro skin and juice So this was an interesting catch right here. Um, actually, I had just left the macro jig, um, the gotcha plug there, and somehow this macro came up and hit it without even me jigging. Um, this is again, this is a another pretty good one right here. I think this one was about, oof, I don't know, 13, 12, 14 inches. Quick catch, fun day. I mean, I didn't expect it to be this good, but man, it turned out pretty good. And actually gave this macro to this um, guy right next to me because he he was having not having the same luck and it was his first time fishing on the pier